Hi, good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening, Adriana. How are you? Very tired. Oh, really? You're tired. <laughs> <Adriana>. <laughs> All right, I got you. It's Monday and most of the time, Monday we get tired, right? <laughs> Excellent. How about you, Pamela? How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. How about you? I'm fine. Excellent, very good. Let's see, Azucena, how are you, girl? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Very good. Good to have you in class. And let's see, Francisco, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. And how are you, teacher? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking, too. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let me see. We have Estreberto. Hi, Estreberto. How are you? Hello. How are you, Estreberto? I think that, thank you. Nice. Very good. No me había, oh. Lo siento que no me había conectado, pero había estado súper, súper, súper saturado con tareas de la universidad. Oh, man. Entonces, tengo que sacrificar algunas horas de clase. You're right. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for letting me know. Sí, la verdad es que son homeworks of the university. That's tough, man. Eso sí que es cansado, right? All right, I got you, don't worry. Let's see everybody, today we're going to advance a lot in section fourth, right? Estaba bien sorprendida de ver que casi todos ya finalizaron la section fourth, right? Así que yo dije, este contenido se va a ir easy peasy. <laughs> so broccoli is good for you, my friends, class 11. Let's check them up. What are nouns? Let me see. Azucena, tell me, what are nouns? Sorry, teacher. Uh, este, no sé si se me permite. Yo ahorita estoy en otros asuntos. Va a disculpar. No, don't worry, Azucena. It's okay. Don't worry. No se preocupe. Let's see. Ahí me avisa cuando ya pueda para darle participation. Let's go with... Adriana, okay, Adriana, tell me the information about what are nouns. What are nouns? Nouns, ever that teacher. Nouns. Nouns. What are nouns? A noun equals a person, a place, or thing in after court. Many things. That you, you, C R and you are noun. That's correct. Excellent. Uh, we have different nouns, right? And, and it's important for you to recognize them and to learn how to use them and when to use them, right? So let's move on, guys, with this information. Let's check what else do we have for today's class. We have some and any. I know. I know that last class we were practicing with this topic and maybe you handle it quite well, but still remember there are some factors that we need to get into consideration, right? For example, pronunciation, although you may have know how to use it in the grammar, but how about pronunciation? So let's get into the business. Let's see, we have questions and answers. Let me see, Estreberto, you ask, and Regina, good evening, Regina, welcome. Uh, hi, teacher, thank you. <laughs> okay, you are going to be the answer, please. Okay. Action, Estreberto. <clears throat> okay, uh, do we need arms? Eh, bueno, bueno, ¿cómo que se pronuncia eso? La que está en negrito y la siguiente. Any X. Any eggs. Uh -huh. Yes, let's get uh -huh. some eggs. No, we don't need no. any eggs. Okay, uh, do we need any bread? 
Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. There you go. Excellent. Estreberto, you are non-count nouns. Ustedes son los nouns que no se cuentan. And Regina, you are the count nouns. Action. Uh, an egg, eggs. And sandwich, sandwiches. Eh, ¿Cómo fue? <laughs> Ustedes los que no se cuentan. For example, bread. Los, ah, ah, es eh, bread y la siguiente, igual no sé cómo pronunciarla. Lemonade. La siguiente, ¿cómo se pronuncia, Tish? Lemonade. ¿Cómo? Lemonade. Lemonade. Mm -hmm. Lemonade. Yes. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Yo apagando my microphone. <laughs> All right, guys. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. Let me have Francisco, you are questions. And let me see. Laura Pamela, you are answers. Action. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Uh, yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct, thank you. Uh, Francisco, you are cut nouns, and Laura, you are non-cut nouns. Action. An egg, egg. A sandwich, sandwiches. Uh, bread, lemonade. Lemonade. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. And now let's get with, let me see. Ronnie, Ronnie, you are the questions, and Fabiola, you are the answers. Action. Y yo contesto, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some... Eh, ¿Tengo que decir lo del paréntesis, teacher? Yes. O... Ah, yes. Okay. Eggs? No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. All right, thank you. Let's see. Ronnie, you are cut nouns, and Fabiola, you are non cut nouns. Action. Count nouns and egg and, and eggs. A sandwich, a sandwich. Non count nouns, bread, lemonade. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, guys. And let's go with Miguel. Morales, Miguel, you will answer. Usted va a responder, Miguel. And Adriana, you ask. Adriana, usted pregunta. Action. Del, do we need, verdad? Exactly, yes. Um, do we need I need L? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct. And Miguel, you are cut nouns. And Adriana, you are non-cut nouns. Usted va a ser los que no se pueden contar, Adriana. Okay. Action. In egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. Nickel nouns, green, lemonade. That's correct. Thank you, guys. And let me get Manuel. Please, you ask and the word is you answer. Okay. Do we need any eggs?
Let me check if Lourdes is online. Yes. Yes. Let's get some eggs. No, with any eggs. And do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, Mane Manuel, uh, tell me the count nouns and what is the non count nouns? Action. Okay, count nouns. <laughs> An egg, eggs, a sandwich, a sandwiches. There you go. Thank you. Bread and lemonade. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Now let me go with Janira, Sandra Janira. Sandrita, you ask and Rosibel Perez, you answer. Okay. Um, do we need any eggs? Yes, le let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any yet. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Now, thank you girls. Let's see, Sandrita, tell me the count nouns and Rosibel, you will be the non-count nouns. Okay. Count nouns, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwich. No. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, perdón? Non count nouns. Non count nouns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bread, lemonade, lemonade, or lemonade. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, girls. All right. Now let's check. When it says a specific, it's because you are going to use a specific information, right? For example, I'm eating an egg. You use the indefinite article an. Let's get some bread. You are not giving a specific amount of bread, right? You just said, let's get some bread. Then you go with general. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. We are not using any article in this one because we are being general, right? We don't want to be specific. Now let's move on to the following parts. Let's go with this conversation, okay? Here we go. It says, Sarah and Kamiko. Fish for breakfast. Man, I hate so much fish. <laughs> let's see. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast but I like to try new things, right? You're being polite. You don't want to deny the invitation. So let's get into the business. Let's see. I'm going to have Miguel Morales, you are Kumiko, and Esmeralda del Rosario, you are Sarah. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese still breakfast in, in Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and so. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too.
And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Let me go with, um, let's see. Sandrita, Sandrita, you are Sara and Manuel, you are Kamiko. Action. Let's have let's have breakfast uh, together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What did you have? We usually have fish, fries, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a uh, salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat try fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. There you go, excellent. Thank you, guys. Let me see, Lourdes, you are Sara. Francisco, you are Kamiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always have a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. That's correct. Thank you, guys. Excellent. We're doing good. So far, all the birds that have participated in this part, you're doing, you're nailed it, right? You're doing very good with your pronunciation. Let me go with Azucena. Let's see, Azucena, you are Sara in Estreverto. You are Kamiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has on Japanese. We start breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? Yeah, we usually had high fish, rice, and so. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. <clears throat> Sometimes we have we have salad too and uh, we always have green there. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent, there you go. Thank you, guys. Let's go and check in Regina. You are Sarah, Laura, Pamela, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come on to my house. My family always has, has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. There you go. Excellent. Very really good. Intonation and pronunciation. And let's go with the last pair, which is going to be a, let me see. I, Rosibel Perez, you are Sara, and Ronnie, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la otra palabra, perdón? Together. To 
to get yes. it on Sunday. Okay, come to come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really, what do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast days and interesting. In in interesting. Pardon? Interesting. 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 Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have a green tea. We I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to train it things. All right, there you go. Thank you, guys. And let's see. I think I think that I'm missing a pair. Let me see. I have Miguel Morales and Adriana, I think so. Adriana, usted no ha pasado, right? No, teacher, no ha pasado. Yo sí ya pasé. Usted ya pasó. Let's see, okay, Adriana, let me see. Um, you're going to work with, with me? Let's go. You want to be Sara or Kumiko? ¿Quién quiere ser, Sara o Kumiko? Yeah, Sara. Okay, action. Let's have breakfast uh, stronger on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Riley, what do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast, that's interesting. Interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Will a new a fish for breakfast would be the light to dry night team. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Adrianita. All right, guys. Thank you. Let's see. Let's move on to the next part, which is basically this was just like the warming up for you. Okay. Let's move on to the vocabulary. What do you have for breakfast? In conversation, right? Fish for breakfast. So this is basically what I need you to keep in mind. What do you have for breakfast? In the US, which means United States, they have eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, and jelly, right? Jam is jamon, jelly is jalea. In Japan, they have fish, rice, pickles, pickles son pepeninos, right? Pickles and green tea. Eh, los pickles son los pepeninos, pero que vienen cortados, right? So then you have Mexico. They have eggs, beans, uh, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, and coffee with milk, <laughs> sweet bread. All right, so there you go. Basically, eh, the people in Mexico, it's almost the same things as us, right? Uh, okay, Fabi, don't worry. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Let's practice with this vocabulary. I already told you the pronunciation. Now I want to check if you're doing good with the vocabulary. Let me see, um, Ronnie, tell me the food from the US. Eggs, bacon, that's the better. Orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly. That's correct. Thank you. Adriana, Adriana, tell me the meals that they have in Japan, please, or the food that they have in Japan. In Japan. Como I need you to tell me the vocabulary of the food that people in Japan or Japanese people have. This Japan, one. fish, rice, salmon, pink, ¿cómo se dice? Pickles. Pickles, green, 
Green fly. Green tea. Green tea. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. Mm -hmm. Laura, tell me the food that people has in Mexico. Mm, todo. Yes, honey, all of them. Uh, eggs, bran, no, beans, beans, tortilla, tortilla, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. All right, there you go. Excellent, thank you. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> Fabiola, tell me the food that they have in US, please. Um, eggs, bacon, ¿cómo se dice tostada? Creo que es tostada, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se dice? Toast, with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, in jelly, así se dice. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent, thank you, Fabiola. All right, guys, listen. También la palabra toast se usa cuando ellos hacen un brindis, all right? Así que no. No voy a pensar que cuando, si hay un brindis y dicen toast, let's toast, no se refieren a una tostada, se refieren a un brindis, all right? So let's go with Japan. Azucena, tell me that vocabulary related with Japan, please. Okay, means fish, rice, soap, pickles, green tea. There you go, excellent. Manuel, Manuel, tell me the vocabulary about Mexico, please. Okay. Eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, uh, sweet bread, coffee with milk. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with Francisco. Let's see, Francisco. Tell me what do North American eat, please. The U.S.? Yes, the United States. Okay, eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange rice, coffee, jam, or jelly. That's correct, excellent, thank you. Cuando dice jam, como dijo Francisco, or jelly, es porque para ellos el pan con la jalea, all right? el sándwich de jalea es como emblemático para ellos, right? eso es como lo que los niños comen every day, all right? eh, peanut butter, mantequilla, maní, peanut butter and jelly, hasta hay una canción de eso para los niños, right? porque eso es como un pancito emblemático que ellos siempre tienen. Raras veces se ocupan el jam, el jam casi siempre lo utilizan, que es el jamón, lo utilizan para el lunch, right? para hacer panes más eh, como para lunch. So there you go. Let's go with Jose Orlando. Tell me the information about Japan, please. Okay, miss. <clears throat> Good night. Good evening. In Japan. Fish, rice, rice, mm -hmm. soap, pickles. Sería la pronunciación. Yes. Because and green tea. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, Miss. Let's see, Sandrita. Tell me, what do people in Mexico eat? Mexico. Egg, bean, tortilla, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Whereas here in El Salvador, we only <laughs> we only drink coffee, right? In Ayunas, <laughs> they eat, uh, they drink coffee with milk. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know how they do it. No sé cómo lo hacen, pero bueno. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good. Some of you already practiced with the pronunciation. Let's move on to the following. ¿Por qué necesitaba que practicaran con este vocabulary? Let's check. Practice time. What do you have for breakfast? Let's see. I have one boiled egg with butter and bread. Un huevo duro, así se le dice, o huevo, huevo hervido, right? Boiled egg with butter and bread. Con mantequilla y un pancito. That's it. Let's see. Um, 
what are you going to do? No todos van a practicar con la misma respuesta, right? Porque todos comen algo diferente. So, let's see. We have the same question. Siempre vamos a utilizar esta estructura. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? Right? Utilicemos los tres tiempos de comida. Ustedes escogen cuál tiempo de comida van a utilizar. Y ustedes van a escoger sus parejas. All right? So, let me go. Let's start with Regina. Okay, Regina. You are going to ask. Usted pregunta y escoja su pareja para que le responda. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Esmeralda. Excellent. What, what do you have for breakfast, Esmeralda? Okay, for breakfast, I have one egg with vegetables and one tortillas. Very good. So healthy. Okay. Que saludable. En la noche se no pupusas. Oh my gosh, ah bueno, ah pues no, me retracto. Ok, excelente Esmeralda, very good. And Regina, now, eh, let's see Esmeralda, choose someone to practice with. Ahora usted va a escoger a alguien, usted le pregunta, y esa persona tiene que responder. Action. Okay, and, quiero ver el listado. Adriana, es la primera que me parece. Okay. Okay, eh, Adriana, what do you have for be breakfast? We have um, coffee with milk. And milk. Uh -huh. There you go. Only that, Adriana. You don't need sweet bread? No come pan dulce? <laughs> or something else? No. Okay. <laughs> Está haciendo la keto diet then. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, no, en serio, hay una dieta que así se llama, right? Keto. Eh, y ellos solo toman café en la mañana. Porque se supone que es un ayuno intermitente. Okay, so there you go. Thank you, Adriana. Now, Adriana, choose someone, please. Usted escoge a alguien, le pregunta por cualquier tiempo de comida que usted quiera. And that person has to answer. Hello, Adriana, are you there? If not, let me go with Manuel. Manuel, choose someone, please. Okay. Um, la lista. Juan Francisco. Okay, action. Yo pregunto. Yes, Manuel, you ask. Okay. Um, Juan Francisco, what do you have to for breakfast? I have three pupusas and a chocolate. So Salvadorian. <laughs> Excellent. There you go, Francisco. Now, Francisco, choose a big team. ¿Usted escoge una víctima o si le quiere preguntar a Manuel también? Um, Fabiola. Ok, action. Ah, Fabiola, Avena se dice Oak. Ok. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Solo Oak. Uh -huh. Exactly. No me vaya a decir Quaker, please. Oh. Ok, solo Oak. Uh -huh. Ok. Fabiola. What do you have for breakfast? I have yogurt with oak. Así me dijo, ¿verdad? For yeah. breakfast. Okay, very good. Now you, Fabiola, choose someone. Lo siento como bien nervioso, bien estresado a todos. All right? So let's say, try to relax, guys. What I need you is to use the vocabulary, all right? This is everyday basis vocabulary. Este es vocabulario que se utiliza a diario, right? Porque todos los días comemos. Y los tres tiempos. Okay, so let's try to use those. Let's see, Fabiola. Choose a victim. Eh, no sé quién no ha pasado. Ustedes cojan que ya hayan pasado. It's okay. Um, Estreberto. Estreberto Reyes. 
Ajá. No sé si ya pasó. No, él no ha pasado. Oh. Ajá. Um, ¿ya, ¿Ya está ahí? ¿Estás ahí? Sí, ¿Qué tienes para breakfast? Uh, I had fried sandwich and coffee. Uh, okay. Eso es ayuno y mami también. Yeah, it's pretty like daily basis, right? Es como lo que alcanzamos. <laughs> All right, lo primero que salga. And that's it. Excellent, Fabiola and Estreberto. Now, Estreberto, choose someone, please. Let me tell you. Le voy a decir quiénes no han pasado. No ha pasado Sandra, no ha pasado... Eh, Rosibel, tampoco Azucena, Miguel, Orlando. Uh, si sí, tiene varios aquí. <risa> ok, uh, Rosibel. Ok, action. Uh, Rosibel, what do you do for Big Pack? Eh, I have it. ¿Cómo se dice jamón, perdón? Jam. Jam. Eh, coffee with meat. Tortillas. Bread. All right. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now, Rosibel. <coughs> Let's see, Rosibel. Choose someone. Please. Escoja a alguien, Rosibel. Eh, tenemos a Lourdes, a Ronnie, a Sandrita, a Susana, Miguel Morales y Orlando. Eh, Ronnie, yo le tengo que preguntar. Exactly, you will ask. Es una pregunta. Ok. What do you have for breakfast, Ronnie? Uh, I have a beans and a mushroom bean, salad bananas, scrambled eggs, and two, two bread and coffee. Man, that's a desayuno campero. <laughs> yeah. All right, excellent. Scrambled eggs. Curious. Excellent, Ronnie. Very good. Now let's see, Ronnie. Choose someone, please. And you ask. Uh, Carla? Fabiola ya pasó. Yes, she already passed. Okay. Tenemos a Miguel, a Sandrita, a Orlando. A Sandrita. <laughs> okay, let's see. Action. What do you have for breakfast? I have one egg revuelto. How do you say revu egg revuelto? A scramble. A scramble. Okay. Mm -hmm. A scramble. A scramble. It. Beans, cheese, bread, and coffee with milk. Very good. Excellent. No se toma el café solo para que no le ataque el hígado. Excellent. Así es. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. I don't like the pusas. You don't like pupusas? Huh? No. <laughs> you but but I don't I like I, I don't like sugar in coffee. Uh huh. That's the thing. Jesus, how can you put sugar in coffee? I don't get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> true. It's true. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Susana. Let's see Susana. Um, no, Sandrita. Choose a victim. Ustedes escoge una víctima. Okay, Miguel. Okay, action. What do you have for breakfast? I have two pupusas and coffee. Excellent. There you say, go. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Man, pupusas are good, especially the cheese. Nah. For, for breakfast, sí, no. Por 40 centavos no se puede quejar. <laughs> Más en right. aún. That's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> It's true. That's totally true. All right. Excellent. There you go. Let me see. What about ah, Miguel? Choose a victim. Tenemos a Orlando, a Laura Pamela y a Susana. Laura Pamela. Okay. Action. What do you have for breakfast? I have two pupusas and with Orange. All right, at least you have orange juice, right? So that's healthy. <laughs> Excellent. Let's see, Laurita, choose someone. You have Azucena and Orlando. Azucena. I imagined. Let's see, action. 
Le puedo preguntar cualquier otro tiempo, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Sí, variemos un poquito. Pregunta por What do you have for dinner? Uh, for dinner, I have beans, uh, smashing eggs, um, water. La mayor parte del tiempo prefiero tomar agua. Really? So healthy. Sí. Very good. Sí. Y las otras dos pupusas que no se come Laura me las da a mí. <risa> es cierto. Ah. Jesus. O sea que Laura no compra dos, compra cuatro. Right. Compra el dólar, es que pero le dan cuatro, cuatro por, por el, el dólar. dólar. Oh, girls, Jesus. All right. Me veo beneficiada ahí. Y qué buenos pues molidos, ¿no? platanos, salcochados, mashed beans, sauteed bananas, scrambled egg, two breads, yes. crashed eggs. O sea, Ronnie dice están bien, están bien, No, están muy gorditas. Ah, pueden estar bien gorditas. Bueno, Esos 126 libras. Parece que era wow. Ronnie. Su pera ni estuvo. Wow. Okay, excellent. There you go. Let's see, Orlando. Ah, uh, Susana, you will ask Orlando. Action. Okay. Uh, what do you have for lunch, Orlando? I have one uh, vegetable. Um, for example, potato, uh, tomatoes. Lettuce, only this. Only that. Yes. It's fitness. Right. Mm -hmm. I am vegetarian. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say vegetariano? Vegetarian. I am vegetarian. You're kidding, right? <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> eh, es para propósito didáctico. Mm. Okay, excellent, very good. Más animales van a vivir. Yay! All right, <laughs> let's see, guys. Very good. Ya ven aquí, ya se les va quitando el estrés y la ansiedad. Now you see. All right, everybody, let's move on. Let's see what do we have for today's class. Uh, I mean, with another content, right? So let's see, we have adverts of frequency. Now listen, guys, please, please, for adverts of frequency. You need to be very careful how to use them, right? So we're going to watch a video with the use of adverts of frequency. Let me look for the video, right? Although I'm assuming you already saw the video, right? Because I was searching for some students in the section and platform, and I saw that most of you already finished the platform. So that's great. Let me just look for the video and I will share it with you. for when talking about food. Do you see the video? Se ve el video y se escucha? Yes, yes. please. Yes. Okay, yes. Let's go. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always 
take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverse of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverse of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%, usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverse of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast. With the adverb of frequency, sometimes, you may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject and finally you may say the following i eat breakfast sometimes you can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence the last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, uh, a verb have. And finally, we need to add a complement: fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, now before before we moved on to the answers part, let me go with this information. Let's go back to the BPT because I need to check your pronunciation. All right. Remember, this is not about only grammatical stuff, but also about your speaking, right? Because most of the time we use English to speak. So let's see. We have always. Pay carefully attention in this one. We don't say always, no, always. Isaele no va ahí, always, all right? 
usually, often. In this one, often, all right? Often. La T no suena, often. Sometimes, hardly ever, never. As he mentions in the video, you can say, I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast or I hardly ever eat breakfast or some people never eat breakfast, right? So let's check this vocabulary. Let me go with this one. Always, it's for a hundred percent, right? Hundred percent. If you are using always, make sure that you are using it for hundred percent. Usually, eighty percent. Often, seventy percent. Sometimes, fifty percent. Hardly ever, twenty fifth percent or twenty five percent. And never, it means zero, right? You don't have a percentage in that one. Zero is zero and you are not able to change it, okay? If you never do an action or if you never eat, which is also an action, use it, okay? Which is not common, right? So let's see, let's go to the pronunciation part. Let me start with, let's see, Azucena, tell me the vocabulary, please. If you need help, let me know. Si necesita ayuda, me avisa, Azucena. Okay, me lo voy a intentar. Si digo una mal, me corrige. All right, excellent. Always, usually, often, sometimes, probably ever, never. There you go, excellent. No mistakes. Very good. Let's go with Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie, tell me the vocabulary. Uh, Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. There you go, excellent. Let's see Fabiola, and after Fabiola, Manuel. Um, always, usually, often, sometimes. Esta, la del 25%, la primera palabrita se me va como se dice. Hardly. La pronunciación. Hardly. Mm -hmm. La D no se pronuncia, solo dice hardly. Uh, hardly ever. Mm, I'm never. Thank you. Okay. Always, uh, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with Orlando and after Orlando Lourdes. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Thank you. Uh, me. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. There you go. Excellent. Esmeralda del Rosario, please. And after Esmeralda, Rosibel. Always, usually, Often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Thank you. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Thank you. Estreberto, and after Estreberto, Francisco. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Thank Always, you. Always, usually. Often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Regina and after Regina, Sandrita. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Thank you. Sandrita, are you there? Let's see. Oh no, she's not anymore. Okay, Miguel Morales, your turn, please. Always, usually, often, sometime, hardly ever, never. Excellent. And the last one, Laura, please. Okay. 
always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly, ever, and never. That's correct. Thank you. Now, let me repeat it for you guys. Pay carefully attention in this one, okay? Always. Ni intentamos mucho, right? Always. Hasta más fácil es, right? Always. Like in this, imaginémonos que fuera así. Let me check it. Always. 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 You don't need to pronounce anything else. You don't need it, right? So don't do it. And there you go. Excellent. Very good, guys. Now let's move on. Do you ever have pasta for breakfast? Ya hablando de comidas exóticas, right? For breakfast. Do you ever have pasta for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. All right? So let's check the following information. In this one, remember, please, let's see the guiding structure. Let's see. Ronnie, please tell me the guiding structure. Uh, so yeah, sub plus adverb and frequency plus verb plus complement. Mm -hmm. There you go. So you got the subject, which is pretty easy for you by this time to learn it, right? Or to know it. Then you have the adverb of frequency, frequency, and then you got the verb and the complement, all right? Easy peasy for you guys. So let's see, what else do we have? If you check the question, you have the auxiliary, right? And then you have the subject. Then you have ever, and then you have the rest. No, this is the verb and the rest is the complement. In this verb, instead of saying have, you can say eat, drink, um, or anything else related to an action, right? Depending on which is your context, all right? So let's move on to the next one. We have the guiding examples, all right? Let's check this ones. I always, in this case, Francisco, okay, ever, ever is por siempre, right? Por si sí solo. Pero aquí, ya en el context, la pregunta dice, ¿alguna vez has comido tal y tal cosa para el desayuno, right? Como les he dicho en algunas clases, hay cosas que se pueden interpretar from Spanish to English or from English to Spanish, but there are some other things which you cannot translate them, right? Hay cosas que no se pueden traducir propias porque si no, no nos tiene sentido, right? So in this case is, alguna vez has comido, right? It's different. If you only use the word ever, por sí sola, significa eh, siempre, right? Let's go with, let's continue with this. Let's see, Regina, please tell me the sentences. Okay. I always have lunch with my mother at noon. Mm -hmm. I sometimes eat dinner or sometimes I eat dinner or I eat dinner sometimes. That's correct. Excellent. ¿Por qué les puse las tres forms aquí? I sometimes eat dinner. Esa es la única palabra exclusiva, all right? que tenemos que puede variar, tiene diferentes maneras de utilizarla, right? So let me check. Uh, <laughs> this guiding structure, esta estructura era para las sentences, right? No es para las preguntas, I'm sorry. Por eso no, no me machaba, que no tenía el auxiliary verb. <laughs> okay, esta estructura es para las sentences. And there you go in here, sometimes. You can use sometimes in three different ways with the subject and the, the adverb of frequency, then the verb and the complement, or vice versa. You use the adverb of frequency first, then you use the subject, the verb, and complement. Or also you can say the subject first, the verb, then the complement, and if you add comma, and this is especially with comma, you can add sometimes. Esta, this third way, esta tercera forma, right? casi no se utiliza, right? I want to be very honest with you. Es bien raro que se escuche, pero siempre es importante que ustedes la sepan. 
All right, guys, for tomorrow's class, we're going to see uh, the guiding structure for questions. And also we are going to practice, all right? Because so far, I have been the only one who has been talking, right? For tomorrow, you will be talking. All right, everybody, it has been a pleasure to be with you in this class and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Miss. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.